What's up, thank you, maniacs? So, imagine this. You just bought your cheap ThinkPad off of eBay. Lightly used. From a business. You're all excited to get your hands on it. You're like, oh man. ThinkPad. You know, you can join the other 12. Uh, the only problem is... That ThinkPad came from a business. And businesses are dirty. They're nasty. Um, you don't want to go near a business. They do this to the keyboards. And it's it's only gotten worse. If you go to a place where everyone's assigned a laptop, which is a lot of places now. And a lot of places are letting people work from home. And they're just doing whatever they damn please with these laptops. It's, it's bad. And uh, if you look at these other statistics, these other addictions that are starting to grow in popularity, this guy knows. He knows. He's like, yeah, I get to work from home. And he's touching all over with his sticky hands, making sticky keys. Um, and to make it worse, this isn't the only guy that's going to touch that laptop. Like, no, that laptop is going to see at least three or four different people that year. Uh, because everyone's job hopping, they're moving to a new place, and uh, when they get that pay bump, they're going to get that used laptop too. So, it's something they got to deal with. And it's something you're going to have to deal with, because there's really no good way to clean laptop keyboards. Not ever this guy is over here getting excited, he's like, hmm... And then, boom, right all, all over the laptop. Who could have seen it coming? Um, yeah, it's really hard to clean laptop keyboards. Like, you can take out the individual keys to kind of get the grime. That sometimes does it, but if you do this, you risk, like, breaking the keys. So it's not something that's really recommended. Uh, if you try to throw some, like, air in there spray all that wipe it down it's not gonna get the the wax and all the gross stuff that's like really buried deep in that keyboard because no matter what you do unless you're doing what this guy's doing right here and every time he does this he risks breaking the little like plastic piece on that not something you want to do so taking a risk you can do this um but more likely, you're just going to get a gross keyboard from IT. So, in your personal ThinkPad, though, you're going to want to go to eBay. Just uh, get one of these, like, replica ones. Or sometimes they'll be, like, new old stock. But China's got you covered. Uh, it's going to be all, like, old models, though. And then another thing is... Here's what businesses should be doing. And here's why it's cost prohibitive so um, the other video I went over looking up the maintenance manual um, that's gonna give you a lot of good info on like replacing the keyboard it's nice uh, but if you bring up the main page on Lenovo's site um, you can grab like the model like number right here so the uh, T14 Gen 2 it's gonna be a 21 HD head over to this uh, purchasing site uh, well, actually, this is like a bunch of links. Um, I'm just going to use the United States one because I really don't care about any of these other countries. They can figure it out. Um, so in America land, we got this, uh, this America parts. And we can search the, uh, the part number right here, 21HD. Go ahead and submit that. It's going to bring this page up here. And that'll give us all of our um, different parts, like memory. And these are all, like, officially from Lenovo. Because the one thing about businesses is they're only going to do things officially with Lenovo. Like, they're, you try to get stuff off of, like, eBay or AliExpress, they're like, no. No, we can't do that. Um, probably for good reason. But at the same time, look over here. Okay. $71 to replace your new laptop keyboard it's kind of insane so imagine anytime someone new starts boom 71 bucks um 
But I would argue that businesses could probably afford this. And with a lot of these, like, like service contracts, like, regular techs should be able to just open these without having to, like, call Lenovo service and have someone come out. Like, 71 bucks not to have sticky keys. Like, I'd argue if you're going to, like, make six figures, you should probably have at least a new keyboard. Uh, if not a new laptop, at least a new keyboard. Uh, but yeah, if you go to eBay, of course, these uh, keyboards are going to be a little bit cheaper. Um, T14 Gen 4 is going to be like a newer model, so it's still a little bit expensive. Uh, if you go a little bit further back to like Gen 1 and Gen 2, it's like 20 bucks for these older ones. Um, and yeah, it's it's wild out there. Don't get those sticky keys. And then if you wanted to, here's, here's a good example of why there's always going to be clone keyboards. So the T25 is one of the most rare ThinkPads out there. Like you're never going to see it up for sale. And when you do, it's going to be expensive. Um, but the reason, part of the reason why it's sought after is that you can take like a, a T480 and do like a Franken pad with it. You can throw on that old keyboard. Um, it's a really weird mod, but the T25 itself is also one of the um, the last ThinkPads with the classic keyboard. It's like a um, anniversary ThinkPad. It's a specialty one. That's why it's rare. But it's gonna let us know, hey. China got, they have our back. They're going to make these clone keyboards. I don't know if this is a clone or OEM, but they're going to make replica ones forever. Um, that makes me feel pretty good. So China's got your back if uh, you take anything from this video. Also, if you like the thumbnail, um, I did make a GitHub video, and it has this little Logo Lee Pro thing in I don't know, it's, it's a fun project, um, locally. They have, like, a thing on GitHub. Um, just wanted to show that video. Probably going to change the title of it. Change your keyboard, please. Please.